Jean-Pierre Fuchs versus Hattie Schupin. This is a fan-requested comparison from at least one of you guys. Well, 12% of you guys voted for this one, so. It's over 10. I will do it. Jean-Pierre Fuchs, lads and lattices. If you don't know who this guy is, he competed back in the 90s. He was one of the few men ever in the history of bodybuilding to make Ronnie Coleman look small. I mean, sure, it was 97 and uh, the angle. Not very favoring for Ronnie Coleman, but... Impressive nonetheless. Look how little Sean Ray looks. Very little too. Also, one of the few guys in the history to make Dorian Yates look small from behind. Actually able to hang with the Yates man in the rear double. That's Jean-Pierre on your, on your right. And Dorian to your left. So, back to this one. Hattie Schupin, obviously a current competitor. He's good too. You know, but I mean, look at the size of Jean-Pierre. Go through these poses. We have limited access to pictures on stage anyway of Jean-Pierre. This is a, a photo shoot. He was known for photo shoots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. He's huge, guys. But Hattie Schupin is very wide. Might have missized this because Jean-Pierre, jean bidon 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 he's holding his legs straight, so he might have even been... You know, might have even been taller than this. He was probably over six feet, I would wager to say. So he is a big, big stud. Now, midsections, quality of the wheels, not even close, guys. Jean-Pierre was good, but Hattie Schupin is sliced and diced. Only fair to give Jean-Pierre a onstage picture here. So yes, he was a little more cut here. You can see the abs a little bit better. But I don't think he's doing enough to defeat Hattie. When you look at the wheels, things of that nature, Jean-Pierre was massive structurally. But his muscles themselves aren't really making Hattie look small, I don't think. I don't think. But having said that, go to the front lat spread, and this is a Jean-Pierre Fuchs pose. Whenever he gets those lats into the equation, and he had some serious lats, guys. Look at him. Guy Smiley. He looks like Guy Smiley. You guys don't know who that is? Well, maybe. Maybe I just made that up. Big chest on him, too. So I'd probably give him this one. All lats concerned. The delts for Hattie. I mean, love you, big man. But there's certain shots where he just does not look. He's ex exposing. Slapped on some clay on those shoulders. A little bit of, little bit of oil on those shoulders, maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't want to upset the Iranian fans. Hattie's still great, guys. He's still great. Jean Pierre might have had some oil in him too. Who knows? Turn to the side, and this is a photo shoot. But it was one of the few shots that I was able to get Jean Pierre's feet in this, so he could size it more correctly. Look at the stud. He looks like Hattie's uncle. It looks like his uncle. He's so big. And look at the size of Jean-Pierre's great big man's manly chest. Hanging hamstring. Are you kidding me? One of the first huge big hanging hamstrings to be, you know, visible in the side shots. A lot of guys didn't didn't pose to push that si or that hanging hamstring out, but you can clearly see what a big stud, Jean-Pierre Fuchs. So, all conditioning aside, I'd give Jean-Pierre an edge in the, the last two shots anyway. Maybe not the front double. Turn to the side. Ah, oh, Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre Fuchs, what are you doing, man? He is sticking that Cassis belly out. And you can see his belly button's like a tongue. It's going... <laughs> it's a bit of <laughs> Just a big old belly. It's a rounder. And you compare it with Hattie's. Ah, this is unbelievable. Hattie Schupin, he is a dream wrapped in a blanket. As far as the torso is concerned. When you look at the arms, he was never the best in this shot. Never the best at all. But I would wager to say absolutely doing enough to defeat the great big Jean Bion, Jean Bidon, the Fuchs man. You know who I'm talking about, damn it. Go to the back shots. Wow. Wow. Now, sizing, a little bit difficult. I made Jean-Pierre only a couple of inches taller, but he's he's bending his head back. Or he's, he's putting his head, he's bowing down. He's bowing down. 
But man, oh man, look at those big flaps. I call them flaps for Jean-Pierre. Hattie, keep in mind, he was just as wide as Big Rammy in this shot. The guy is a Boeing 747, but Jean-Pierre, he's being displayed up on those stilts, a little bit higher up on those stilts, and he had some good separation in the hamstrings. No, he wasn't as dry as Hattie, and you can even see that in these pictures. Although picture comparisons, you know, they're only, you're only going to be able to tell so much. But you can tell a little bit, you can tell that Jean-Pierre had bigger traps than perhaps anybody in the history of bodybuilding, at least in this shot, at least in this shot, Coleman would give him a go. But wow, wow, I don't know what to say. Here's the rear double. And it's less about the dry, this is 96, by the way, less about the dry condition of Jean-Pierre. And to be, to be fair for Dorian Yates, when you compared them two guys, it was an obvious situation where, yes, Jean-Pierre had the big muscles and the separation, but he didn't have that dryness, that dryness of Dorian Yates. And I don't think he does of Hattie Schupin, but look at the big mess of hamstrings. Imagine trying to sort those cables out. Be like one of those phone things, you know, when phones first came out, they had a big, a big wall with all the cords and the holes. You know, men couldn't do that. They needed women, but they didn't want to admit. So, it's crazy when you think about it. Women should have, should have been given... Given more credit for that. Sir so smarter too. Prettier too. Here, here's the abs and thigh. Here's the abs and thigh. And my soul. Jean-Pierre, he really did have the, the gears, the guts, the things of that nature to deal with a lot of bodybuilders. But he's not dealing with Hattie Schupin. There's no way, guys, guys and gals, things of that nature. The width of the, the lats too. From the front. And then from the back. I mean, Jean-Pierre, let's face it. The guy had some thick, very thick lats. But this is a different generation. This is a different, uh, you know, it's a different repertoire. Repertoire, the conditioning. Here's the most muscular. Not to say that back in this day, you know, 97 for Jean-Pierre. He's doing a crab, by the way. Hard to, hard to compare the two. But we do what we can. But not to say that Dorian Yates... Didn't have that raw condition. He did. Missing a bicep, tricep, things of that nature also. And he didn't have the wheels. Nowhere near did he have the wheels of Hattie Schupin or any any real current competitors. But having said that, uh, Jean-Pierre, he's not beating Hattie. He's not beating Hattie Schupin at all. He wasn't beating Sean Ray. Was he beating Sean Ray? Sean Ray, about the same size, stature of Hattie Schupin. But Hattie Schupin, 10, 15, 20, 20, maybe even more pounds heavier than Sean Ray with equal condition. So no way, shape, or form does this big Haas Stetler stud defeat Hattie Schupin. Jean Bidon 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 Pierre Fuchs. Jean Bidon 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 Pierre Fuchs. Jean Bidon Bidon. Don't be, don't be, don't. Jean, 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 Jean. Jean, 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 Jean